back and it gets even worse than before. You know, there comes trust. As a child of God, you know, we, we, put, we put God in front, mm -hmm. at the side, around and about our situations, you know, depending on God, you know, to see us through. You know, as I hear Mary say, we, um, your friends, your pastors, your family member might not have the answer for real because believe it or not, they have their um, trials to go through too. They have their thing going through. Pastors do go through stuff. You know, your grandmother, your, 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 um, your, your co-worker, you know, your friend, you know, they go through stuff too. So we have to put our trust in God. We have to leave it to God. You know, we have to depend on God totally. You know, and God knows when you are depending on him totally, when you look into it. You know, as I remember um, the story about Joseph, Joseph the dreamer, as we call him, you know, and he had his brothers, you know, and... um. His brothers were jealous of him, you know, because um, he was with us, you know, he was the apple of his father's eyes, you know, as one of the youngest brother. So his father loved him, you know, in such a way. But um, Jacob, but the thing is, Joseph went through a season in his life. And that season started when the spirit of envy mm -hmm. and uh, the spirit of jealousy, because jealousy bring um, envy, bring jealousy and covetousness. So it's like the three of them, mm -hmm. you know, is one big happy family there. So all of that took place, and that's when Joseph um, storm started. That's when his trial started. That's when his um, long suffering started. You know, so he had was to endure. And while Joseph was enduring all of what was taking place in his life, he prayed and he trusted the Lord. Because as the scripture said, the first thing the brothers did, they were trying, one of them wanted to kill him. One said, no, you know, let us not do that, but let us, you know, throw him in a pit. So him started out first, the pit situation, and they did sold him from the pit situation. He was sold, um, went into Potiphar's house. Now, going into Potiphar's house, going through the situation and seeing where what has happened to him, what has transpired, his own family, his own brothers, what they did to him, you know, he would have said, well, you know what, uh, may give up on them, you know, but now I'm going to deal with them because oh, we are, some of the earthers, oh, me now deal with him, me now deal with she again, I done me done with her, because we are like that, me done with her, or me done with it, and, mm -hmm. Right there, he went in Potiphar's house. And while he was in Potiphar's house, because he was gifted, you know, and God has his hands on Joseph's life. So wherever Joseph goes and whatever he touch, and um, in the presence of who he is, they are going to be blessed. He's blessed, so they are blessed also. But... um. Joseph, Joseph didn't give up. He didn't give up, you know, because when I'm when, when I looking at the story and I'm saying, oh my, Joseph went there and, um, you know, he was serving, he was doing well. And, you know, Patifa, you know, gave him a promotion and he was going on well. And then comes the devil. There comes the devil. So whenever and however time in your life, when you see things going through, that's why we have to always pray. When we see things get sweet for us, I will see this happening. I will in the job and we are being promoted and everything going well. We get the house, we get the car, we get everything just going on nice. My children, 
um they going good i um, mean they're, they're doing well in school and all of that don't just relax don't just sit back and get complacent start praying even more because let me tell you the devil is there watching and he will try to be an endurance mm -hmm. to you you know he will try to stop and to block so that is his aim to stop to block to destroy to kill so while joseph was um in potiphar's house the devil came and the devil used potiphar's wife to come and try and tempt joseph now some person or some man would have said okay i'm an opportunity this well my family um abandoned me so here one now me get the opportunity here so me i go take it and maybe just me because i i just I, i'm just saying maybe she all promise him more than what patifa was paying him and 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 she promised him more you know more benefits he would have get more benefits and he was he would have been treated like royalty because she would have did it as his defense you know at all times because she's she she going to get her satisfaction so she went look out for him you know so he would have a lookout person there so to stand up for him but joseph said no he said no because he stood for righteousness he stood for righteousness many a times as christians i have seen it i have seen it where um persons will walk out of the faith as i hear mary saying don't give up don't throw in the towels. I've seen persons throw in the towels. You know, I would have said them backslide. You know, they gone back out there because guess what? A man come with something. Me now nah get this now. I me now nah get that. Things start to get rough for me. Me now nah able to eat um chicken and fish again. A pure kalalu. Kalalu is good. It's vegetable. And a pure um, tin mackerel. And a pure chicken back. Now me if I eat. Since me get saved and one time, would I get fish, me would I get beef and all of the other meat, them or some of them not even so good for us anyway, you know. But, but, you know, Joseph didn't look at things like that. He prayed and he trusted the Lord. You know, sometimes we will go through things, situation will arise, long suffering will come. As we said before, we don't know if it's one week. Sometimes it may take a month, a year, two years, three years, four years. We don't know. You understand? But with all of our time, our storm to go through, you know, and, you know, but God is in it with us. God is right there. He was right there with Daniel in the lions. Then I will continue to say that because I believe in my heart that if God didn't want Daniel to go into that lions, then it couldn't happen. God allows it. And anything that God allows, God have a reason why. Because God must get the glory. Your life must give God glory. Our life must always give God the glory. And not just God getting glory, but he's preparing us. He's preparing us spiritually, you know, to get spiritually fit, you know. So when we go through these tests, when we go through these trials, you know, count it all joy. Count it all joy for this long suffering, you know, because it's for our own benefits. You know, it's not just for us to go through something and we just say, oh, maybe go through this and this up, man. Oh, God, come. Yes, you're going to testify also because somebody else is going to come your pathway, come cross your pathway, come in your pathway, come somewhere you meet someone who is going through something that you have been through before or something similar. And you can say to them, well, sister, our well, brother, I have been through this and God kept me. Amen. It's only God why I'm still standing here. It's only God why I'm still living. It's only God why I can still say to God be the glory, great things he has done. So Joseph went through his time. He went through his time of long suffering. And the scripture said, Joseph, when Joseph um, refused, 
Potiphar's wife. And she was saying the spirit in her, that Jezebel spirit in her, that adultery spirit in her said, oh, 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 no, you can't make him get with her. Oh, him for come this year. You know, your own place. Anything where you want, you're supposed to get. That simply means there are many other servants that came in Potiphar's house and she slept with them the same way. And while um, she was there and she realized that Joseph got away, Joseph ring out himself, let him leave him garment into her hand. And what she said, what the spirit said, all right, cry foul. Ball out, say him, him, him try to rape you. Ball out, say him try to molest you. Ball out, say him try to do this. Him try to, and that's exactly what she did. And when she did that, Patifa said, oh yeah, after me take you in, I'm going to do you, I'm going to lift you up, I'm going to bless you the way, I'm going to put you over this, I'm going to tell you if you do this, I'm going to lift it up. I said, then you want all my own property? You want my wife? Eh? Then he said, all right, I'm going to throw you in a prison. And from Patifa's house to prison. Now Joseph was in that prison. It wasn't for one month, two months. No, look, come on. Look at it. He went to prison for nothing. That he, he, him, 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 him not guilty. He wasn't guilty of the crime. He wasn't guilty of the saying. He wasn't guilty of the accusation. But the devil himself creep up. That's the devil, you know. Come to bring endurance. Come to block. Mm -hmm. Come to stop. Because one thing I know, the devil knows that. You're a purpose person. You're a purpose, purpose child of God. And greater things are ahead for you. The adversary knows what God is going to do for you. Amen. And he's trying to stop it at all times. So the devil will use you even against your own self. To stop your own blessing. To ender yourself. You know? As I hear Marie say, you go and try and help yourself and try to do this. And when you do that, you make the situation even worse. Instead of praying, instead of fasting, instead of giving God thanks, instead of worshiping and reading the word, you go try to help yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we all go to the wrong person, go yeah. tell them the situation, and then make it even worse because they come with some suggestion and they come with some encouragement. Sometimes the encouragement becomes a discouragement. You know, because it makes things worse. You understand? Because sometimes some of them don't even come with a godly encouragement. They don't even come and say, all right, go, sister, go read the word of God and comfort yourself. I remember, so the word of God said this, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You can do all things through Christ who strengthened you. They, 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 they won't come with those words. Maybe they come and tell you, say, why if I did me, me would I do this? I mean, would I do that? I mean, would I go there so? I mean, would I try this so? And if I did me, and when you do all of that, and you leave out God, you leave out the word of God, you leave out the will of God for your life, right there, you sink yourself even more in the situation, and it gets worse. Now, Joseph, as a praying soul, he prayed and he talked to the Lord. And while Joseph was in prison, you know, the thing about it, he was gifted. And I say he was gifted. He was gifted for dreams and to interpret dreams. You know, he, he, if he, if you dream something and you say, boy, brother Joseph, you know some dreams say two cow jump over the moon and two, you know, um, and two donkey, uh, um, I go through a small hole. You know, I mean, I wonder how oh, them fit for go through the hole and look how the donkey them big. Joseph can tell you what it means. For the for the call for go over the moon, yeah. you understand? And 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 when while Joseph was in prison, the scripture said there was a baker there, there was a this there, there was a that, and both of them came and tell him what they dreamed, and he could have um you know explain what the dream meant. Meant, and mm -hmm. same thing when explained is that that come to pass. And one of them now um when him um him tell him and him say well you're going to get released and you're going to get this and that. but when you get it please remember me. Yeah. And then now while that man got his release as what Joseph said the first first one one of them said he's going to die they're going to kill him and that's exactly what happened. The next one now, when he got his release he never remember nothing about Joseph. Not but me say when God have a plan for you and when God set up something for you no Body. No devil from hell can stop it. 
Amen. When God has something in store for you, nobody at all, no care all them try, no care what they can't stop that purpose over your life, into your life. It must accomplish it must come to pass that's why you have to wait and you have to learn to endure and Amen. endure with patience Amen. endure you know with expectation mm -hmm. endure with joy endure with, with 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 praising god and giving him thanks it's not easy you might be saying auntie Polly, you can't sit there and say what you want to say you know go to i mean i go to you know my rent due, I mean, I have no money for pay, my mortgage for pay, and then I go take away my house. My homeless, I have to sleep in a shelter. Whether you're in a shelter or not, God have his thing and his plan set out for you. He says he knows his thoughts for you. Of good things, good health, wealth included too. Strength and me, I tell us if you take your 50 year, if you have 50 now, and it takes you never 50 years, they ever reach a hundred. God, whatsoever God has for you, and He's going to give it to you. Let me tell you this He's going to allow you to live another 10 more years to enjoy it. That's the God in whom we serve, you know. So you don't have to worry, so why me all now? And now, when me, I go get this. So if me get this, me not even go live for enjoy. Mm. Mm. The way our, our God is great. The way all our God is great, him will give, uh, him give life, him give strength, mm -hmm. him know all your body makeup, him know doctor for use machine, doctor for study the body, doctor for study organs and study this and study all kind of something. Right now, some of them know when them when you go a doctor, them a go up and Google and a Google this and a Google that. We call them Google doctors. You understand? Because the doctor them these days, them not even do no more studying like that again. You understand? And if them even study come like them brains, now nah, hold it. You understand? Because one time, doctor, remember when we go to doctor, and as me start talk, the doctor can't tell me what do me. Yeah. Him no go to no Google, nothing. Them used to have some big books. So. Sometimes you don't see them go back to a book or so go look. But them know what them are do. Them know the world. Mm -hmm. So God is even greater than them. Mm -hmm. he, God who gives them the wisdom. You understand? To know things. So even if you are a hundred years of age and you're saying that I am a hundred years of age, when I get this, oh, my God, just dead and leave it. No, no, no. God is going to allow you to live another 10 or five more years, however much years, and you are going to enjoy it like it's the best time of your life. God, that's how God, that's how great God is. So Joseph. In his meekness, and he humbled himself in the presence of the Lord while he was there. As I said, whatsoever God has in store for you, nobody can take it away, nobody can stop it, no devil can change it. What God has in store for you, you are going to receive it. You are going to receive it. I'm telling you. And let me tell you something while Joseph was in prison, the man did forget him and him that he had work and a go on and go on. You know what God would do? God would allow. God would allow. God would allow. God would allow the king mm -hmm. to have a bad dream. Mm -hmm. And when he had that dream, when he had that dream, he couldn't fathom it. He called this, he called this associate, he called that this magician, him, everybody come, them can get, tell him, really interpret the dream. And then right there, right there, right there, that um that cook, remember, say, oh, yes, remember Joseph now. Mm -hmm. Him did tell me, say, me, I got this, and me, I got that, and re, re, re. And um, guess what happened? Sir, sir, Joseph, J Joseph, for, Joseph for their prison. Yes, man, him, him can do it. Him know, him can interpret dreams. And right there, breakthrough came. Amen. After Joseph interpreted it and said, how much years are famine? Uh, how much years are this? Uh, how much years this and that? This the dry up cow them. The mega one them, after, how much years are that? And the, the mega one them, eat up the fat one. And uh, how much years are famine? Um, and then right there, the, the king could have said, yes, mm -hmm. let me gather and get. And then, you know what? While in Potiphar's house, Joseph 
Joseph was just maybe a little, um, let, me, let, me, let me put it. All right, take for instance, so we have, um, he was just a supervisor. I would have put it as a supervisor, you know, or a manager then. He was a manager over Potiphar's, um, you know, affairs and his stuff. But you know what? Joseph become a governor, mm -hmm. a prime minister, mm -hmm. a president, mm -hmm. and all of the work. They can. So, so guess what? He was promoted. And him promoted up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. Over all Egypt. Yeah. Over all Egypt. That's all God is. And today, tonight, I will encourage you and telling you that God has something in store for you. Don't care what you're going through. And don't care what trials you're facing now. Don't care all the storm clouds, clouds rise and the billows roll. Don't care how it look, how, how the earthquake are shake. I don't care how it look and everything burn up and dry up and everything look like nothing other than it. God is in control. And whatsoever God has in store for you, nobody can change it. Mm -hmm. Nobody can stop it. No one can do a thing to it. Because when God gets ready, everybody gets to move. That And nobody can ask God anything. Just trust God, man. We are here tonight to encourage you. If you're going through a financial difficulty, trust God. Mm -hmm. If you're going to whatsoever it may be, if it's a sickness, trust God. You know, if it's a mar I hear Marie say marital problems, trust God. Because I'm telling you, God will work it out. 